But my dilemma is that there are people who are just holding XRP and that's fine and great. And then they come to my chart room and I have another side of me and that's the side that's always been there since the beginning that I, you know, that's kind of why people kind of flock to me is because I'm also a trader. Okay, so that's what I do. I'm a trader who uses technical analysis. I am a technical analyst. I read, that means I read and draw and, you know, study price action. And I use price action to make my trades. Some people would call me a day trader in a way uh, I am. I'm more like a swing trader because I may not be up and down swinging. And that's what I think of when I think of day trader, um, swing traders. Uh, I am in the market just enough to 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 be like a day trader. Um, but I kind of more, uh, you know, I'm looking for those big swings and, and, and taking those up and down. And I may there may be days where there's no trade. Uh, there may be days where we're just still in the move in the in those legs and they have to form. So that's why I'm more like a swing trader. Uh, so the other side of people is those there's people who are traders and they follow me for my trading signals and they're watching me go up and down so i have two sets of things i've 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 let people know <clears throat> i believe we're going to 25 cents but the run to 25 cents is a roller coaster and i've told people this many many times if you're if you're if you're if you're not a trader then don't ignore all of my buy and sell signals. Anything, any XRP under $2 or even $1 or even $2 is fantastic price. It, it's great. You're, you're not doing anything wrong. And you can show up to my chart room and watch me out there. It's like, and, I, and I've told people this for, for, for a long time now, for, uh, since we, I opened my chart room, I said, um, when we came to the most dangerous zones and I told people, hey, I think we're going to 25, uh, when I first started making those calls that we're going to 25 cents, I said, listen, they said, will you trade it? And I said, I'm going to trade it if it unfolds slowly and it's readable. And then if that's the case, I'll be sell exiting, uh, buying at opportune times and then exiting and slowly, you know, just buying back my XRP and accumulating a vast amount of XRP as it goes down without basically spending any more, any more money. Um, some people are shorters and then they'll actually make cash as it goes down and, and that's good too. You can you can you can do that. But what I'm doing is I'm uh, I'm out there, and I told people, hey, a storm's coming. You should get on the beach. Just leave it alone. But then they see me surfing out there, going up and down, and I'm in the water. And uh, the problem is I'm getting a lot of new people who uh, who are are very new to trader but uh, trading, but they're excited to see my signals, and they're out there trying to surf with me. Now, if you if you do, I'm I'm letting you know. I, I gave speeches about this in 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 text format in my chart room, letting people know, guys, I don't recommend surfing with me. Okay, I, I don't recommend doing. And I'm telling you again, this is dangerous. Okay, I'm if if you want to be a trader and you're shadowing me, you gotta be flexible. You gotta be quick. You gotta move. Okay, there's times I'm like I'm making a call and and it's it's time. And if you're not uh. You know, if you miss a call or whatever, hey, just sit back. You know, wait till we get back to, uh, you know, closer to the 25 zones. There's going to be clear signals, um, but sometimes we are we're this is this is doing that, okay. And if you don't, if you're not comfortable with my trades, you can look. You can either do two things. You can look through all of my old uh, on the pinned, you know, or click the media links on the Telegram, and you can see all of my uh, calls for a long time since <clears throat> back since when I was calling. Uh, uh, when I called the sell for uh, for Bitcoin at fifty six thousand, there are going to be a lot of ups and downs in the market. I am a trader, so if you're following me and trying to shadow me, I'm letting you know it, it, it's 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 dangerous, and it is not it's not always easy. So I'm, I'm, I want to get you used to that fact that you're going to see me moving. Now, people follow me for my signals and that's great. And I'll be with you. The good thing about the good news is that I'm, you're, you're not alone. I'm not like, oh, just get out of here. No, you're in the trenches and, and, and um, you're there with me and I'm, I'm trading with you, which leads me to uh, one of my last points and it's called reading my hate mail. Okay, so um, I got some messages 
you know, with tel uh, on a Telegram from somebody, he said, he said to me, you are just a XRP shill. You know, you're just trying to get me to buy XRP. And I, and I said, no, I'm not. And then he was like, well, yeah, you tell me how good XRP is. I'm like, yeah, I tell you how XRP is good, but I'm not telling you to buy it. Even my own cousin, he said, should I buy XRP? I said, I said, as a trader, no. Okay, as an investor holding for the long term, that is a great investment. But I'm not telling anybody to buy XRP because I'm a trader and I've been selling this thing all the way down. So you may look at me and says, hey, how come he's selling it and telling me to buy it? You need to understand who I am. You need to understand what I do. This is this is what I do. So it's like if you're a surfer and you're, you, you know, you, I, I, I'm not a surfer. OK, in real life, I, I, I'm terrible at surfing. I want I, I got a, I got on a surfboard. I stood up for one one second that I, I tried for an hour just to stand on that board for one second. I was and when I stand up, I was like, woohoo, and it fell in the water. I am not a surfer. And then I see people out there in the way in the in the they're just going crazy in the in the water. And I said, man, they're so good. So I have no business out there surfing humongadunga. OK, I, I, I won't. So you're going to have your feelings. Some of you are going to say, wow, but I, I want more XRP. Well, that could be greed. You need to pray about it. OK, or, or I want I want more profits. I want to maximize my profits. You need to pray about it. You know, should you be trading? Some of you guys are not good at order entry. So I, I recommend this. Get a practice demo account, something where you can be quick to. Some of you don't even know how to place the, an order entry at a certain target. So you're just trying to follow me like, oh, is it time to sell? Is it time to buy? And you need to be watching tutorial YouTube videos about how to place an order on the BitTrue app or how to place an order on such and such trading app. So how to place a target price on such and such trading app. That requires your discipline, okay? Because you're following me, okay? Now, it's one thing to watch me in the chart room and go like that saying, man, this guy's crazy. Look at his, you know, but look, you'll see price reacting to my lines very well and you're going to see me you know moving and, and and doing stuff all through the week that's what i do you're going to see my calls and it's another thing to say should i be you know trading these things now i i kind of want to be a discouragement to that part of you if you have no business trading and some of you know who you are you need to know what side of the coin you fall on some of you just feel led to hold xrp and you need to, if, if you feel God's leading, leading you to hold XRP and do it. And then some of you are just trying to get the best prices. You can either wait till I hit my target at 0.25 cents. And some of you are like, oh, we're going to hit it now. You know, we went up. Oh, we should be buying. Oh, we should sell it. Oh, we should buy it. Did we move? Are we going to move now or not? I'm telling you, I believe we're on our way to 25. Okay. I've been calling that for a while. I see the matching about 25. I don't have that number today. You know, are we having a major sell signal that hasn't yet unfolded? But you're watching me, you know, sell this and, and you're, some of you are selling all the way up and down with me. And I thank you. Um, but I'm in those trenches with you. And I'm a, as a trader, I'm telling everybody, hey, it's better if you stay on the beach because the trading right now, as we get down uh, into these final final zones, um, it's the best prices. But for some of you, it's better just to watch me uh, trading and then once we get there then take out whatever cash you have and buy you know rather than uh, selling all your XRP and, and and you know some of you and and many of you have commented on uh, on that over the you know the months you know I won't say any names but um you know you're being you're in the chat room to you know make make friends you're in the chat room to, to you know be around like-minded people uh, and that's fantastic so I just want you to know um, who I am what I do and to separate yourself from what and, and, and choose what you're going to do. Some of you, um, I, I have a friend in, in my in my personal life that uh, is a um, want wanted to be a, a trader. And for a while, this friend was following my trades. I, I said, OK, you know, that per that person wants to know about these trades. So what I did was I was sharing some of my charts with uh, a certain uh, coin. And that was, uh, I believe we were doing a do uh, dodge coin at that time. So making, you know, going up, making down, making dodge, making money, making dodge, making money. And then finally, this person got into a position where I said, hey, you need to reverse your position. But they had like got in a little bit late. They didn't want to take a loss. In trading, we have to learn to minimize our losses and maximize our gains. If you're a trader, this person did not want to exit their position. 
And so when I made, when I saw it, I said, hey, we're coming down. We should be hitting this target. We came back up when they were saying, oh, I hope that's a dip. And I'm like, okay. And I said, hey, this is the next target going down. That person was no longer in a position to surf the wave because they were so caught and panicking because they were in a negative position. They didn't want to take a small loss. Trading is like a business. Sometimes you are going to take a loss. And so you're going to have to know um, what those differences are um, to, 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 to correctly uh, follow price action. You have to be a flexible trader if you're going to want to be a successful trader. You're not going to win every single one of your calls and you can't expect to. And if you're getting, if you're not able to sell your trade, then you fall, fell in love with your trade and you can't fall in love with your trades. And that was one of my first lessons. I told that person, you can never fall in love with your trades or you're, you, and if I, that means like, oh, we're going up, you know, like don't fall in love with that thought, you know, be flexible. Oh, we're going down. Don't fall in love with that thought. We can go up. You have to read. You're constantly reading surprise action is like a story you're constantly reading the book and somebody says oh there's a twist and a turn and the quicker you can catch it and put your emotions to the side whether it's a loss or, or whether it's a, a, a quick profit and, and so if we had a target that was way up here and then i said hey 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 the target is actually lower here but you're like oh but I, I really want that higher price well now you're you're just gambling because you're just hoping that price will hit those targets and price may not hit those targets and, and if your data is telling, now I'll show my charts and why I think that data is, you know, saying that, hey, this is the this is the bottom or this is the top of a certain area within that range. So if price is going down and, and just for a quick example, if we were in a channel and price is, you know, buying here and selling here and buying here and selling here. And then all of a sudden I call here. I say, hey, this is a bottom. And you're saying, no, 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 this is, we're, we're getting down here. And I, and I say, hey, this is what I'm doing. I'm buying and you miss. And then you can feel so much greed and go, oh my gosh, look at the money market's going without me. And then you finally buy up there when we're at the top and we go down and you're, you're stuck at the top and you're losing money hand over foot because again, you're trading based on your emotions. And you're not being quick. You're not being reactive. You have to listen to what price is telling you. You cannot force price to do anything you want. That's not how trading works. In trading, you're riding a wild bear. You're riding a wild bull, okay? So get on that horse, but get, get ready to fall off every now and then, okay? If you can read where that bull is gonna turn, okay? If you can read where that, that bear is gonna swipe down or that bull is gonna charge up, you're a better rider. If you're surfing Humongadunga, you know, as we're on our way, then you'll know what are the littler waves and the bigger waves. And, you know, you're, you're going to you're going to see me out there in the middle of a storm. And I told everybody that's like that's what I'm doing. I'm looking out in the hurricane and I'm telling everybody, hey, get inside. But every now and then you just see that crazy surfer out there because maybe he's been doing surfing for a while. Maybe he knows what he's doing. OK, maybe he's OK to, to, to take a risk. Maybe he's got uh, maybe he's like a cat and he has nine lives and he's not he has nothing to lose. Now, I'm not crazy, but I'm not willing to trade anything I'm not willing to lose. I have a portion of my XRP as an investing position that I'm not trading and I'm not touching. And then I have another portion of my XRP that I'm trading up and down. And I've successfully uh, made uh, many thousands of more XRP than, you know, just uh, just selling it because, you know, of how selling works. If you know where those tops are and you can buy them back up and down, that's what I do. So I just wanted to, to share all of these things um, and just let you know, uh, oh, I did have one last thing I wanted to tell you. I got this um, before the before the videos ended, before we get too long. And I'm, and I'm so glad you guys are here uh, listening to me talking about price action and, and trading psychology and, and these things. But I got a comment, and I don't know if it's a shield or not um, a shield, but somebody said this, sword cut, it's, she said, don't be stupid and follow these shields popping up with no history and wanting your money. Go to such and such person, Bitcoin person on Twitter. He is a huge, successful, honest trader. Everything he teaches is free and says, don't fall for these dime a dozen scammers who retire off of your membership fees. Okay, first, so I said this, um, you do know that I give all my charts for free on Telegram, right? That's what I tell her. Now I do have exclusive content for other stuff that I'm not trading. Like if you ask me, um, like for ETN, I'm not trading ETN. 
I may put it on to, uh, Patreon, but if you still ask me, I'll put it on for the group too. But um, that's like an incentive for people joining me on there because as you'll see, I said, I, I said, ha ha ha. I accept donations for the amount of time I spend providing. I spend, uh, for the amount of time I spend providing way more time than I would devote to providing price maps for myself only. Sharing takes a great deal of time and effort and teaching. This is what I do and this is what I do provide. People follow me to understand price action. I don't trade signals that I don't personally trade myself. I don't share those kinds of signals that I'm not personally trading myself unless it's unless it's a price that you specifically requested or if it's on Bitcoin. But again, if Bitcoin's going down, I know that overall we should be uh, following that as a pattern. So, you know, I do provide those. But XRP, when you see those signals, I'm in those. I said, I'm in the trades as a trader up and down. So if you think I'm just a shill because you don't know me, that's fine. But I'm there in the trenches. Um, oops. Uh, I said, I'm there in the trenches and I'm with those traders. So I wanted to let you guys know that if you do support me on Patreon, you're just donating and just being a blessing and supporting me. You don't have to be on Patreon. You can follow me for free on Telegram. I've been there for free. I didn't. I I. I am accepting those donations because wow, what a blessing it is! If it's just me trading and I'm not care, uh, and I'm not caring about you guys out there, then I would just be doing my charts and I can move a lot quicker by myself. I'm letting you know that right now. I don't, I don't need to be providing my charts all over the internet and and putting myself out there, you know, where where people you know can ridicule me or you know things like that. I I don't need that. Um, I'm doing this because. You know, I, I just I'm, I'm just tired of seeing people either getting involved or don't have clarity or direction or at least don't have any idea of what's happening with price action. And they're just they may see price boom tomorrow and they think, oh, I should buy and they're buying at a top. At least with me, you can see that, hey, I'm giving you the map here that I don't see a top. The other day when people were like, oh, we should be selling. We're going to 52 right now. I said, listen, guys, here's a video on YouTube that we could be very at the support. We're sitting on those supports. So I'm putting up those charts. Now, to me, um, was that a buy? It could have been, but it was enough to stop price. And I told people that I don't think we're I think we're going to go up for a bounce and then come down. I said we're going to go up to a target area and we went up to that target area. And then we came down and then we broke back up through that target area. But I told people we were going to that target area and you can see those in those videos. But did we go right to 50 below 52? No, not yet. If you were trading and you didn't have a price map and you were thinking, oh, I should sell, you would have lost a lot of money. And some of you need to consider that. You know, when you saw that it, when price was below 52 and I showed you a video that, hey, on a weekly chart, we are we are sitting on this support. Some people would have sold and they would have lost a lot, a lot of money. And if you've saved a lot of money, then you already you already made, you know, maybe maybe, maybe you saved thousands of dollars. Well, praise God for that. At least I was there to show you my map to show you say, hey, guys, there's some support here. This may not be a signal, but this is some support and at least you have some kind of better idea about making a, a better financial decision when it comes to your own trading. You know, I'm showing you guys, hey, these are magnet points here. There's a, there's a high chance. Now, it's one thing to follow my signals and it's another thing just to have the maps in front of you so you can put those lines on. Some of the diagonal ones you have to draw carefully, but some of the horizontal ones, you can just put those on yourself on your own charts. I, I, I'm not charging for those. And all of those things are for free. So I want to let you guys know, I'm definitely not a shill. I don't, I don't need your money. I'm so blessed by your support. We have nine Patreon supporters and they're supporting me. I, I think I, I'm at $70 a month that people are just saying, hey, you're a blessing to me. I've been following you or I love your encouragement. I love your maps. You're, you're, you're giving me some idea of where we're going. And, and that's great. Some, some of you have full faith in me because you've been with me for a long time and you, you kind of trust me and you're ready to weave and bob and move and, you know, take a punch. Um, we don't take too many punches, but we, we, we do make, you know, uh, you know, we're, we're trading. You can be you can be profitable. You can be successful. You don't have to be a failure at trading. Um, but 
I love my method because I give you guys a map of where we're going. I'm not just saying, oh, we're selling. Somebody, some people say, oh, we're selling. And then where are we going or what's in the way? They have no idea. But I, when I draw uh, price action, I see a lot of people who don't know how to draw maps on price. And at least I do. And I can see things well in advance. And so if you are following me, I, I, I want to bless you because you guys are, are there with me. And, and some of you are just watching me surf. And you guys are, are, are really just seeing me, um, you know, just riding those waves. And, and, and some of you are riding those, some of those waves with me. Um, and I don't mind being there with you and answering my questions with you. Uh, I have not forgotten about you. I care about you guys. And so that's why I'm here. That's why I'm sharing. If I'm a blessing to you, pray about being a blessing to me. But I don't need your money. And you don't have to do that. If you want to be uh, a part, um, if you enjoy all of this content, I love taking extra time of, uh, of my uh, life uh, to help someone. But it does take a lot of time to, because I'm not just taking a trade myself. I'm, I'm making screenshots, I'm drawing, I'm explaining, I'm, I'm, I'm holding people's hands who are out there surfing. I'm holding people's hands who are out there riding these waves. And in case whatever you want to do, if you want to follow me or not, or some people are just, again, they're just holding for the long term, but they still want to learn something. Well, I'm like that. In, in, the, in that way, I'm like a teacher because I'm showing you what I see on price. What things are coming up? What things are in the way? How will price react? I don't always know. I can't tell you what trades I do. And I hope that makes you more successful. Thank you for taking time to watch this video with me today, guys. Uh, some of you, uh, you know, uh, you were, uh, there was one of my questions about the books, what books you should read. I recommend Trading in the Shadows of the Smart Money. Um, the book is called Trading in the Shadows of the, My of the Smart Money. I believe it's by David... It's the Wyckoff Method by Gavin Holmes. Um, you can find it on Amazon. It's about fifty dollars. Um, you can find an ebook version of it. I, uh, they are. You can find this book with the with the trading group Trade Guider. They teach you how to read volume spread analysis. I am not a link to them. I'm not affiliated with them, but I've used them uh, for over the years to to get a foundation of volume spread analysis, and that is a really good uh, a really good study. You want to take some time to study price action, study volume spread analysis, what I call BSA. That's really going to give you your, your sea legs. Uh, when you're when you're moving through price, you're going to say, oh, what is what is happening with price? You're going to you're going to read it a lot better. And then knowing when to read it, you can come back to our chart room. OK, and thank you for your time. Uh, I want to end this with a with a prayer for for everyone. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this time that. We have to spend with you in our lives, God. You Every day you wake us up and you give us more time. You give us more grace. Um, we don't know what the future holds. We don't know what all may, may come. But we pray that you guide us and you help us in our financial decisions. I pray that you would you know, release to everyone the knowledge about what they should be doing when it comes to uh, when it comes to investing and trading and, 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 you know, people are here to learn and some people are here to, uh, to trade and some people are here to, to hold and, and, and some people are just in different walks of their lives and some people, you know, they, they don't know. I pray that you would just guide each person on what they should be doing for their lives. Lord, you know what every person's ability is. The Bible says that you gave each and every one of them, each according to their own ability. To one you gave five, to one you gave three, and another you gave one, each according to their ability. Each man and woman has their own particular sets of strength and their own particular sets of weaknesses. Some of them may be more prone to emotionally trading, Father, and I pray that you would just reveal to them their own greeds and their own fears when it comes to markets. Teaching them, Lord, also how to put their emotions to the side when trading. But if it's not for them, warn them and speak to their spirits, Lord. Speak to their spirits and speak to their hearts, letting them know where they stand with with trading, God, and, and where they stand with investing. And, and sometimes you're just leading people to a, a godly fellowship. And that's maybe that's why they're coming to our, our chart room. But I pray whatever the case is, Lord, that you'll you'll speak to each one of their hearts. Minister to them, Father. 
I thank can you I thank you Lord and I ask that you would bless each and every one of the people under the sound of my voice listening to my words that you would just bless them and guide them and whatever's to come and and the days to come Lord and if things get crazy Lord uh for all the events that will play out uh, over the coming months Lord no matter what happens you give them peace uh, peace that goes beyond all understanding Peace that will guard their hearts because you will guard their hearts and you will guard their minds in Christ Jesus. This is the blessing that you offer. This is this is the thing that you do. This is the peace that you give them. And for those who don't know you, Father, I pray that you would reveal yourself to them. That you, you gave your only begotten Son because you love them. And that whosoever would believe it in Him should not perish, but be granted everlasting life. The best gift we could ever receive. Gift beyond money and beyond riches. And I also pray, Lord, that you would give me discernment and guidance, Lord, as I navigate price. And that you would bring the right people to my circle, Father. And that you would remove the wrong people from my circle. People that, that don't belong uh, in, in this. I pray that you would just keep them away. And I pray that the people who do belong under my under uh, under you know my team and watching and, and and in our circle, Father, I pray that you would just draw them near for those who need to be here, for those who need to hear, uh, maybe for those who are getting wrecked with price and 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 just wanting peace. Many people are coming saying that they're having peace for the first time; they're able to sleep, and I'm grateful for them, Father. Father, I'm grateful that they're that they're they're getting their rest and they're washing because they're not having to worry so much about their. Uh, about what things are coming because they have they have an idea of what's happening uh, with their with their with their current trades uh, and, and wherever they are in their trading father they're they're having some help and they're not alone I thank you and I and I pray that you bring those people and guide those people to uh, to our chart room father um, and to uh, and if they're not a part of the our chart room then at least to our, our patreon so they can see and follow uh, follow the my maps that I'm putting up there, Father. I pray that you would just bless every single one of them sevenfold, God, and make their lives enriched and happy and a lot of peace. I pray all of these things. Love them with your love. Love them with everything you have, God. Show them you're real. Show them you're real. Give them your fire. Give them your peace. Give them your spirit in a new way and cause a revival in our land. I pray these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.